safety measure, oops, which way should I have the camera? Safety measure one is achieved. We now have, sorry about the mess, I remember we just moved in all these tires were here, all this mess was here, but we're building fences and see what we have up there is a fenced area that came down to this concrete wall and the house, the in and out for the dogs of the house goes in and out down there or up there, up to the yard, upstairs, so there's two levels. We have client dogs upstairs, we have foster dogs downstairs, but then we've got the special sanctuary site that we're building um, for dogs that we don't want to euthanize because they're good people dogs. But, it's messy in there. huh? It's messy in there. I know it's messy. We just put it up today, it's not cleaned or anything. Um, and we need an airlock. Hi, Bentles. I'm trying to, trying to come see you, Bentles. I'd probably go in the other way after after today but he's not he's not gonna kill anybody at this stage but he's gonna get in more and more fights um and because he gets excited and he redirects and he's got all this excitement and stuff and you know um it's just not safe enough to be have him in the house with the dog so he's gonna be out here which is gonna cause as you can see a little bit of arousal which he's not he wasn't doing when he was in the house all the time because he misses me easy baby i may have to turn this off to focus Bentley, easy. Get it, good boy. No, oh, he just scratched the crap out of me. Anyway, it's not perfect. Good boy. Let's focus on toys. I take him out and walk him and all that good stuff. But, you know, he wasn't like this. He wasn't hyper like this when he was in the house all the time. However, he's too happy to euthanize and he's too good of a people dog. And we did find one home that wanted to take him and they only had chickens. And I said, well, he'll have to keep him away from the chickens because of course he'll eat chickens. But they had no cats or dogs, so, however, the wife disagreed. However, they're out there. They're out there! Is it worth him living like this? Yes, of course it is. Is this forever? No. We're gonna have a cutoff period. However, we built this for him. It's concrete here. We gotta clean everything out. This is kind of storage. We just landed last week. Um, I've got a lot of things to build. Typically, I would have an airlock here and then come down from the kitchen. I'd also fence up there so he can come in the house just when none of the other animals are around. And by that, I mean two layers of security. So all the other animals would be moved to either downstairs, let's say into the luxury suites downstairs, and then he would be allowed upstairs in the house with the cat put in a crate. Um, not that he's tried to kill my cat when he was in the house, but you know, he definitely would. And he'd definitely kill any prey animal and he could kill a dog, he hasn't killed a dog but he's got into two serious fights now with the two dogs that he was getting along with brilliantly because he redirects it's just frustration arousal and he needs a dog free home but he's not not bad enough that I want to euthanize him um, but we just got to find that home and this is all resources and time and I got to spend four hours a day with him which means four hours where I'm not working for money to pay to feed him and vets and get him outside and then I've got to spend time trying to get him adopted and marketing and resources I've also got to feed my family, guys. I've got to feed my family and, and look after my child, and I'm not doing that. That's the problem. So it's tricky, but I'm going to sort it out. My husband works full time for us now, and we're uh, we're going to make it through, and we're going to save these guys, and we're going to have a great life. So we're going to get it all done. All right, that's an update on Bentley.